Hi, I'm Dauer from Virtual Forms. Based on the previous video where I have shown you how to uh, create a simple virtual form using, uh, using virtual forms, Microsoft Excel and Microsoft Access as a data source to create a simple virtual form. In this video, I will show you how we can create a master detail form very simply and very quickly. We will not uh, start from the beginning. If you didn't uh, watch the previous video, please go and watch it. I will uh, copy and paste the previous folder. We will rename it to Access 2. In this folder we have a virtual form project. We also have a Excel workbook and we have the uh, database Microsoft Access and database and we have a one virtual form definition file. First we will open the virtual form designer project and we will rename okay here it is a good path here in the connection string we will rename so that our database so that our connection string will uh, will be pointed to our database that is now stored in access to folder on my desktop. I will now save it and proceed with creating a new form that will be based on orders table from our database. We will name it orders form ID field name, virtual form designer has already done this for us. It has chosen to go with order ID. This is also the primary key in our database. Okay, the ID type will be automatically add new values to the ID field because we don't need to enter this value manually. This will be all handled by the uh, virtual form control. ID field type is numeric. Buttons group, uh, we will use the default one. Maximize, yes. And before from open function, we will leave this blank for now. Let's save it. And now the virtual form designer asks, asks us if we want to add columns to the grid control. Of course. Here we will select all the fields are pre-selected for us, OK. If we don't want any, we can uncheck them, but we will leave it checked, OK. Now it asks us if we want to uh, add fields to edit control. Of course, also all the fields, OK. And we have now here the orders form with grid control and the fields. And we also have the edit control and the fields. Let's, uh, let's uh, see if the virtual form is loading and if everything is OK. We need to uh, remember the virtual form name. This is the virtual form name that the virtual form designer has generated for us. For now, we will put this down. We go into our workbook. Here we have the command button that we created in the previous video. We go into Visual Basic. Now we go into the user form one. I will rename this so that we know. Uh, the difference between these two buttons that we will have. If I can remember, this was uh, the customers. And we will create a new button. And we will call it, let's call it orders. Orders. Let's go into the command button click event and we will tell 
the virtual form control that we want to show when we click on this button that we want to show virtual form which virtual form internal name is this if i can remember let's take a look yes this is it okay uh, for now we don't need this anymore we save it and we can test it customers okay i have wrong spell it on this button customers and here are our orders oh 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 i didn't i didn't correct this and this line we need to change this into our new folder where our new uh, definition file is this is it access to on our desktop and we want to point to the database in our new folder access to let's save it and let's test it now if all works or this oh here it is here we have it. this is the grid control and this here is the edit control we have this we have also this oh we need to tell the edit control that this field is a decimal field this here is not the decimal field so only this let's change this in edit control and also here in grid control in our designer go into grid control for this form let's find this fi this field and let's say this field has two decimal places save yes and we have said we, we need to change it also in edit control here decimal number of decimals okay here two let's save it and let's see how this works now and here we have it two decimal places and when we try to change something let's change this to uh, 55.65 this is customer id okay. 55.65 let's see if this has also changed in our database customers and not customer id but the order id i need to remember it is 10 20 and 260 10 260 okay orders table 10 260 it is 55 65 just as we have changed it with our virtual form okay now let's add to this form the order details in the bottom and order payments this we can do we can put this down and let's go into the virtual form designer now we go into our orders form in the relationships a right mouse click add new relationship we have uh, uh, we can see that the virtual form designer has uh, pre-populate the master table it is orders and the master field id order id this is the id field from the master table or in our case from the orders let's now uh, define the details table it will be the order details 
and the details master ID. This is the relations. This is the relation from details table to master table. Uh, in my case, I always uh, love to uh, name these fields the same as in the master table. So in the order details table, I have a field order ID. That is the relation to the master table or the orders. Okay, caption, let's leave it, order details. And details ID field name, this will be the order detail ID. This is the primary key for this table, for this order detail table. Let's select this. Details ID type, let's leave it to auto. Details ID field type, it is numeric. Okay, let's save this, yes. And now the virtual form designer asks us if we want to add the columns to the grid control of this relationship. Yes. Okay, uh, give us all the fields. Also for the edit control, yes. Okay, let's use all the fields from the table. And here we have orders form. We have grid control for orders form and we have edit control for orders form. In the relationships we have one relation. We have order details. In this order details we have grid control and edit control. While we are here let's add also the order payments relationship. For the details table let's select order payments table detail master ID as we have spoken already uh, this is the ID that is relating to the master table in our case this is the org ID and the details ID field name for this order payments table in this case is this order payment ID that is the primary key for this table details ID type auto details ID field uh, type numeric okay let's save this now add the columns to the grid control process okay and let's add the fields to the edit control process okay so our orders form is having two relationships order payments and order details but let's change the ordinal let's say that we first want to the uh, first want to have order details and then order payments and order payments let's have this as ordinal number two okay this is this is it this is what i wanted order details and then order payments let's see how this looks like in our virtual form in excel orders here we have our orders and here down in the bottom we have order details and order payments let's click on order details here we have our order order details grid control and here we have order details and control we can hide this uh, order ID and order detail ID field from edit control and from a grid control we don't need to show them to our users we can hide them by going into our relationship order details grid control order ID we uh, cannot and we must not delete them but we can hide them let's say that this view will be zero in the grid 
this also zero in the grid but we did not delete it and in the edit control let's let's specify that this field visible property is no save and also the order detail id visible property is let's set to no and you can see here we have these two fields in black this represent that these fields are present in our form but are uh, not shown to the user okay let's have a look now orders order detail here we go product id unit price quantity discount also in the grid control order payments we have also order id order payment id we will also hide this info let's go back to our uh, let's go back to the virtual form designer into the relationships order this is a typo order payments okay save ah, no no order payments in grid control we will hide this we don't have the visible property but we can set it to zero view and also the order payment id we can also set the view to zero in the edit control also order id here we have the visible property no save it and the order payment id visible property save it change it to no and and save it while we are here we will also change the payment payment amount we will change this decimal places to two okay oh we can also change this property to yes you will see what this is all about if it is numeric data type it will show the sum in the header okay yes in the edit control also payment amount we will say that it will have two decimals and save it and in order details in the grid unit price also decimal to two but we have quantity we can set quantity let's say four decimal places and the discount let's leave it as the zero decimal places in the edit control unit price decimal to two quantity four decimals discount let's leave it to zero <coughs> oh again i have closed let's go on orders order detail let's change something here let's change the quantity it's 15 not okay oh discount we need to change this to decimal decimal two places because it will uh, wipe out the the decimal places okay let's change this also in the designer 
maybe teasing relationship or the detail grid control discount discount decimal places to save it <laughs> guys are spoken guys I are talking to me in Facebook discount okay discount to decimal places to okay exit let's run again the orders form here it is order details discount we have we can see that it is having two decimal places back let's see if there is let's try it 0 0.25 Okay, 0 0.25 order payments. Let's add new payment to this order. Payment date. Let's say. Let's say today. Amount. The 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 the. the let's have it. 100. And here we have the uh, total for this order. Let's add one new payment amounts let's see tomorrow you will pay me 120 and this is in total 220 we can go back these are our orders these are our order details order payments that I was here yes on this order I have put some payments so order details order payments this is it for this video